three two one three two one all right everyone so in today's video we are going to be jumping into bitcoin ethereum link and avas because i was noticing some pretty decent move is about to happen but we must start off with bitcoin before we go through ethereum link and avax guys if you find that interesting and you're new then please do me a favor by subscribing to my channel hit the bell notification so i can keep you updated but i think you all know what time it is and it's time to strap onto your boots put on your rocket helmet because you're certainly going to need it so let's get into the video <laughs> Three, two, one. Hello everyone and welcome back to Total Crypto for another video. Right, so as we can see from Bitcoin that we are looking like, well, we could be, well, we're more than likely still going to range here for a little while before we ultimately make a decision whether we break down below 53000 or $68,000. However, looking at it from the grand scheme of things, it is looking like the price is dropping. But as long as we hold $58,000 right now and we stay above this level and this level, as long as we see an engulfing green candle, meaning bigger than the last red candle, then we should be expecting a at least an attempt for us to push on to the upside. And we just need to break above this level right up here so we can continue our way to the upside but obviously whilst we look to our left it looks like we do need to convincingly break above this resistance line right up here perhaps we can argue to say the resistance line should in fact be up here and the reason why for that because if we look further to our left that was the initial move that we broke into the upside but that was roughly around about 74 Three thousand dollars. We in fact peaked up to. Yep. Let's just say. Let's just round it up by saying seventy-three thousand dollars, and that's the resistance. And we could say these supports should be lower than here. In fact, why don't we be a little bit more accurate and say that that is the support? Now this is clear as day. Now that we know what's our resistance and our support, we've been dropping a little bit here potentially we could be going even much more further down or at least back down towards $51,000 potentially unless we see a spike to the upside and a continuation move from here however we just need to be paying attention to what BTC does because ultimately it does affect Ethereum, AVAX and LINK which I'll get to shortly but I wanted to start off with BTC so we have an idea or at least we have an inkling as to where the rest of the market is going but anyway now that we can see that BTC, if we do fall below this level right here, then we should re be retesting. Then we should be retesting 51,000 before we potentially see a move to the upside from here. But until then, let's pay attention to what BTC does because it will affect Ethereum. And Ethereum is more or less moving quite similar to BTC when it comes down to the chart setup. Just like on BTC, we're going to draw the resistance and the support line. That's the resistance area up here because since we made that initial pump to the upside, we then comfortably pull back. We almost try to retest back up in this level, but we didn't quite make that height. Instead, we, didn't, we then just capitulated our way back down into that $2,585,000. So the support should then be anywhere between here and a little bit lower but for this exercise or for this video we do low over here reason why because it's been touched and tested so many times down here so we can go ahead and say that that is the support line all right so what do we see here and what do we notice we've noticed that we are potentially still going to head away back down into around about two thousand two hundred and thirty odd dollars or maybe even more and in order for me to remain bullish on ethereum we just need to be breaking above from this level right over here and only until i do see a break up from here then i will be at least temporary bullish for us to head away to this level right up here initially and if we convincingly go above here 
and then we should be at least on the verge of retesting back up to four thousand dollars so guys quite literally so if you were to enter in now into a trade and if you do hold from here back up towards that four thousand dollars that still will be a pretty decent gains and what sort of gains would you be expecting and that would be roughly around about 59 to 60 percent move to the upside however as long as we're still ranging in this level right here then you can make a case that it could be a great accumulation phase for potential eventually a move to the upside so the aim of the game is whenever you dc your way in and accumulate a lot more of your bags you want to be accumulating whilst the price is still low before we continue as push to the upside until then i will probably would wait if i see a little bit more further pullback down into roughly around about two thousand two hundred twenty four thousand dollars a little bit less in order for me to literally go and ham and add a lot more to my bags until then i'll be paying a close attention to what happens here before i can see it either way 60 percent move to the upside is still great for a short-term trade however i will be holding for the long term because i'm using the kucoin database the highest ethereum has gone up to via the kucoin uh, database was four thousand and eight hundred dollars with ethereum we can quite easily see at twenty thousand dollars i reckon in this pool season but anyway that's something that we can find out closer to the time or before we see further adoptions or more news coming out from ethereum either way guys we're going to revisit ethereum in the next couple of days to see how it gets on or i can do it on a daily basis you let me know in the comments whether you'd like to see more regular updates on bitcoin and ethereum so let's move on to the next one and that's going to be avax so how is avax faring up against bitcoin and ethereum well first of all why don't we continue to draw the resistance and the support line all right since we made this move to the upside up here we can call that a resistance and then the support will be all the way back down into these levels after making this nice move to the upside we then saw a little bit more than 50 percent retracement back down before we ultimately continue our way to the upside with avax it's gone as high up as 65 dollars but then we retraced all the way back down to 20 dollars guys this could be a perfect buying opportunity right now because we can still see a brilliant run to the upside from here because if you enter here and you're looking to hold off for the long term then you could be expecting anywhere between 205 or maybe 207 percent move to the upside back up to that 60 dollar mark because this area here is a more of a sentimental area because once we do smash that level then we should continue to go to much more higher into your 80 and 90 dollars and then during the peak of the bull season we might even see two three hundred dollars you never know in the comments guys how much higher can we go for avax but i reckon if we change the charts into the weekly charts and let's squeeze in the chart because in this channel we do love to squeeze in the chart that's for sure okay so via the kucon database avax has gone as high up as 145 dollars so that means by measuring from where we are to that 145 dollars then that will be 661 percent move to the upside that would be quite decent run to the upside or at least back up towards the last all-time highs however during the bull season potentially we could see four or five hundred dollars per avax and also another thing that we love to do in this channel is to pull out the fibonacci retracement tool because rather than always using the fundamentals of the project which obviously it holds some weight however let's take a look at what the fibonacci retracement tool would state in terms of how high can we go all right guys look at this so if we just look at the dark purple over here so anywhere between 362 to 512 dollars per avax in the future guys this could be a decent run to the upside and if you are a avax maxi that's gonna be pretty decent news for you because by pulling out the measuring tool we can see even if we get to the top of that purple box right over here at the fib retracement of 3.61 then guys check this out that's 2300 and roughly around about 
2,275% move to the upside, so that's still quite a decent 22x. The question is, are we going to go much more higher? If so, how much higher can we go? And most importantly, are you bullish on AVAX? Either way, guys, only time will tell how, how, how much higher can we go. But the question remains is, can we go further down before we push to the upside now let's head over to the very last coin of the video and that is going to be link now, all right guys so for link is looking yeah it's looking like a pretty decent setup in general because what we can see we saw that we've ranged here for a little while before we pumped to the upside we were ranging for the side here for the longest and then we saw some decent volume being kicked in right over here we then pull back we attempted to try to retest towards the last high over there we didn't quite do so before moving away back down. Now, what have we noticed here? What we have noticed this area right here is very similar to the Ethereum and AVAX because since we made that run, initial run to the upside, we didn't quite retest that level. So that means we pull back down, we came back up, not even close to that area right there. Then we saw a continuation move to the downside. This could be a perfect accumulation phase right here. I would go as far as to say, that this area over here is going to act like a strong magnet so that means when we do eventually come back down to this area here then you should be considering to add a lot more of your bags before we continue push to the upside now if we do fall back into this box it might be a quick wick into the area like a liquidity grab or we could stay down here for a little while before we continue our way to the upside either way guys this will be a perfect buying zone so if you are looking for buying zone area this area should be the perfect spot right there of course nothing always pans out the way we want it that's why you got to make sure you put alerts keep an eye on the charts that way if you do come back down into this area then you should be going in hand potentially can't tell you what to do and if we ever to come back down here just get in hold until we come back towards our all-time highs and on KuCon, the all-time highs would be at $52. So why don't we pull out the measuring tool. Let's say from where we are right now, back up towards that $52. And we could quite possibly get 446% move to the upside. But in this bull season, how high do you reckon we can go for a link? Now let's pull out the Fibonacci retracement tool. We measure right from the top to the bottom right over here so let's squeeze the charts in and potentially per link we could even see anything between 132 to 178 dollars guys and that will be a humongous feat for link and if we do get up there it could make some millionaires depending if you've been holding here for the longest if you if you've been holding there then guys let me know in the comments because potentially you could be in for an insane ride to the upside because we could see even bigger prices for link during that bull season but anyway let's not talk too much about that right now but anyway let's say if we do get up to that 130 dollars then that means potentially we could get 1,257 percent so that's an easy 12x however if we do reach 177 dollars then that's 1,738 percent move to the upside so there you have it guys what do you reckon do you think with links that we can see a 177 dollars do we think AVAX can reach and do you think AVAX could go as high up as $500 or whether Ethereum could get to $20,000 and BTC get to $120,000. Guys, you let me know in the comments. But for the meantime, thank you very much for tuning in. Now, give me a like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you be updated for all my latest content and videos. And if you're a big fan of the Solana memes, check out this video right over here. Or if you're looking for that pre-sale that could give you 1000x, you could check out this video here. And finally, if you're bullish on Ton and you'd like to get some free juicy airdrops, you could check out this video right over here, which is pinged at my top comment. Or this one where you can possibly get $1,000 per week just in airdrops. 
by completing some simple task. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave you there. Thank you very much, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.